Ding, ding. So I've pretty much done it, level 99. And as usual, as you can tell, there is no party. There's no gambits option on the menu, no any party option either. So, but notice how it's 98, but there's practically nothing left. Well, I want to show you my new su system. And, note that I'm using active mode. I've noticed a 4% yeah. speed. Yes, get sighted. It learns the air fixes over. And also, note the damage. Yeah, 4,000 pretty much means... Well, can you figure out what will happen to bosses and marks? These things... Kamikaze. The only real threat. You get a critical first thing. It's the only way I can one-hit them. HP critical on the first hit. Yeah. Like I need more criticals. Oh, and by the way, just so you know, I've actually got it to about 3,700 experience a minute. Let me hit him again, dodge attacks. Yeah. Oh, that's it. That's basically my goal now. Oh, and by the way, did you know that if you save immediately before a level up, get the level up, and reset your the system, and do it often enough, you'll, you'll actually be able to uh, get a whole bunch more HP. That's because HP growth is random. It's... I don't yet know if it's actually possible, but I would think that you can get about 7,000 base HP. Yeah, base. That's... that would become 8,000 with all license points with those HP ones that would be impressive you can do the same thing with MP though I don't know if you can get more than 999 MP but so you might be wondering now how did I get 999 level 99 that part in the story if you the bottom part if it gives any hint well I'll explain the process vocally for now uh, well basically progress through the story until you defeated the rogue tomato the rogue tomato is in right, right in this area. You can't get through this area, which means you can't get anywhere else. So, once you've defeated the rogue tomato, get the rod. That is right here. Okay. Eh, wrong button. And, once you get the rod, you might be noticing the huge number of license points here, and the whole board is cleared. Yeah, that's enough license points to clear the whole board again. So, to get the rod, eh, let me find it. You start here. So, go here. That's where the rod is. You get this one, and then this one. It's only 30 license points. No big deal. Okay, once you get the rod, then head off into the Wester Sand. But, I would not recommend doing it if you have less than 250 HP. That shouldn't be too much of a big deal, though, because in Giza Plains, there's enemies that are worth quite a bit. But, avoid the werewolves. For now. Okay. Okay, Giza Plains. The werewolves are right here. Okay? Pretty much go through these whole areas here. You can even visit this little town here, but not really necessary. So, once you've gained a few levels, head off into the Wester Sand. Okay? Here, these enemies will give about 200 experience apiece. Very valuable. And, after gaining a few quickenings or whatever, uh, then you can go after the Dive Talons. But, if you do get a Dive Talon, the best place to do that is, see, see the save crystal here? Go from there into here, there's a dive talon pretty much right at the entrance. If you get that one, go back to the save crystal, replenish your MP, go over here, and you can keep repeating the process as many times as you need. Just cycle back between here and then here. Once you get the, the uh, burning bow, then focus on going for level 99, and there you have it. 
That's all you really need to do, pretty much. Where's the license? Nah, wrong button again. That license... Okay, I'll show you the shortest way to get to it. The license is right here. Okay? So, the shortest way is from this one. Get this, 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 and then this. So it's down three, over one. Because these would result in more license points. That's 65 versus... 65 is the same. Well, 105. See, so either way, it'll still be the same. Hmm. Well, that's basically the idea. And the werewolves dropped the Kotetsu, in case you're wondering. So that's how you get level 99 with essentially no story progress. That's a lot of experience to get for the next level. But it actually remains that. Which kind of makes you wonder if you can possibly get level 100. I don't know, though. Yet. So, what is a mark like, you might be wondering. Well, I'll show you that. Oh, and if you're after arrows, I kind of forgot to mention, this area right about here is where you'll find a treasure that contains arrows. Get it. No problem. Just simply go out the west gate, and very short way you can get there. Then to respawn treasure chests, all you gotta do is get three zones away. And early on, it might be a little difficult to go on here, but one, two, three, that's three zones away. Although it may not be the shortest way, or the easiest, but that's basically how you do it, to get those arrows. But let's go show you what a hunt is like on level 99. So, what is it like to fight this thing? At level 99 now? Yeah, so, uh... Are you playing? Yeah, notice how he defeated that big, big fat dino in just two hits. That one's pretty much how it is. Oh, and by the way, when I first played this game, uh... I thought this town here was actually infested in where you'd end up with battles against really tough enemies because, well, the story kind of hinted to it. So, let's go get that mark. Yes. This is no big deal. There's no restrictions around, so I can't be blurring them over. All I gotta do is to go with this big red dot here. I've seen him do a little over a thousand. Just to give you a hint as to how effective his cure spell is. Critical for almost 9,000. Not very valuable, do you? See the big red dot? That's the mark. Hmm. And the labor shouldn't be any problem. 4,000 damage? Aye. Not a big deal. Phoenix down. Now that's all there is to a hunt at level 99. Nothing to it, huh? Well, most of the early hunts will be like that. 